Alright, so we're rolling right now. We're here at okay. Velocity 2008, here at Device Anywhere. We're here with Darren Madonic, the technical account manager with Device Anywhere. So what is Device Anywhere? So Device Anywhere is actually a product that allows you to do a lot of uh, mobile testing without having to go out and procure real devices. So um, with this interface that we have with Device Anywhere, you have the ability to basically acquire um, some of the latest and hot phones and actually do your mobile testing on these devices without having to go out and purchase the real devices. So if you want to actually get a shot maybe of this hardware right here. So this is a picture of our hardware and uh, what, the, what you're looking at here is an actual phone that we've gone out and purchased. We have a service plan on that phone and we've gone ahead and broken the phone open and we've made it possible to uh, hook up electrical connections using our proprietary hardware to all of the inputs and outputs of that device. So we tap directly into the LCD screen of that device and then we stream that live over the internet and allow you to see it here on the actual screen. So this device that I'm working with right now is actually located in a data center somewhere in uh, San Mateo. And so uh, it's actually, in this case, a local phone. Um, and you have the ability to interact with it just as if you had the device in your hand. So this allows um, mobile testers, uh, developers, basically anybody who's going to be doing any sort of QA for a um, mobile application or a device or any sort of um, web-based um, mobile product, they have the ability to test it on the real live handset instead of testing it on an emulator or something like that. So, can you give us a demo with the Apple iPhone? Sure, I definitely could. So I see um, the Apple iPhone right oh, there. Actually, um, so one thing about the service is it is a shared service. Um, we currently have two Apple iPhones. One of them is, is right now disabled, um, but the other one is, is in use by another user. Um, I could definitely give the demo in probably about five to ten minutes when, that, when the device becomes available. Great, so we'll be back in five to ten minutes. Sounds good. So here we are back with... Um, the uh, Apple iPhone. Um, we have this. This is actually the uh, Apple iPhone in the uh, UK O2 UK package. So this is actually um, we're working with the iPhone uh, actually in um, across seas across the pond in the UK. So this phone is sitting in a UK data center, uh, and it's actually being um, the video is being transferred across. Um, the internet to our screen. So I'll just slide to unlock it here and then we'll go into the um, the actual system. So as you can see what you're seeing is is what you would see on the actual iPhone screen. Um, we can go to all the settings of the phone and we can search through all of the um, all of the different modes and anything that you would normally be able to do with the phone. Um, you could certainly go on the internet, uh, connect to Wi-Fi, etc. Uh, we have the ability to, um, since we're building out, since this is a hardware solution, obviously we can use this with any phone. Um, we also have the ability to, uh, since we're on the live carrier network, we have the ability to browse internet, uh, make phone calls, and pretty much do uh, anything that you would if you had the phone in your hand. So now we'll just uh, browse to the Google website here. And as you can see, the phone actually turns as if you had the phone uh, in your hand. Uh, and we also have the ability to support that turning of that phone. So you can see the phone um, in basically all of its glory. In this particular case, it's upside down because something <laughs> wasn't done right, obviously. Um, but in most cases, the phone would be right side up and in the right orientation. I guess I should have tested that out. <laughs> But anyway, so um, this is a full force iPhone. Yeah, it definitely is. So it would be the same as if you had it in your hand. Obviously, because of uh, certain things such as network latency, um, the fact that we're connecting to the phone over the network uh, through the internet overseas, um, sometimes some of the frames are lost, and there is a little bit of choppiness. Um, that's simply because our software is bringing the actual real frame rate of the device. Um, so, in attempt to keep it with the actual um, image that is occurring on the device in real time, sometimes we have to remove frames. All those frames are actually still available and can be downloaded off of the Ensemble server that the device is connected to. Um, so, even though while you're currently interacting with the device, 
you definitely can go back and get all the frames that you would have lost um, just by you know network network latencies and so forth. So what's the pricing on this? So the pricing is actually uh, very straightforward. You pay by the carrier. So we have all of our devices um, packaged together in carriers just as if you were to purchase the device from AT&T or you were to purchase the device from O2 UK. Um, so in this particular case, uh, for this device in, in, the, in the O2 UK package, you are purchasing for $100, you have the entire O2 UK package, and then you purchase by the hour uh, for device usage. So you're paying $16 an hour uh, for the first 10 hours, or if you go up and you want to spend $30, or excuse me, 30 hours, uh, it goes down to $15 an hour and so forth and, and so on until um, I think our max out is, is 300 hours a month on a particular package. All right, so Darren Modernick. Madonic. Ma Madonic. <laughs> I can't even say my yeah. name right sometimes. With <laughs> device, device anywhere. anywhere at deviceanywhere.com. You got it. Thanks, Darren. Yeah, thank you.